Heroic Arthur. Do not think that Hyrule is now saved from the spread of twilight. Leave these woods and go to the west, where you will find the land protected by the spirit Elton. There you will find those you seek. But know that these lands lie in twilight. They are now a dark realm, covered by the clouds of dust. If you set foot beyond the curtains of twilight, you will revert to your priest form, so be prepared. Hero chosen by the gods, leave these woods and go west to the land of Elden. That's better. Searching should be much easier now. But of course, you feel the need that or yeah. <laughs> but of course, you feel the need to go help uh, the other light spirits, don't you? Well, don't worry. When you turn into a beast again, I'll take good care of you. The first thing you need to do is find the land. <clears throat> the first thing you need to do is find a land covered in twilight. And once you do, I'll help you out. <laughs> See you later. What's good and what's up guys? Let's do Jet here some more. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Well, last episode, we beat Diababa and uh, completed the Forest Temple. In this episode, you'll notice that the darkness that was once here is now gone. And by darkness, I mean the Deku Babas. So, now we have our task. Uh, since uh, the land of Pharaon is completely clear of twilight, and so is the uh, evil here, let's head on to the next uh, area. My person will never talk to again. <clears throat> and you think I'm joking. We'll never talk to him again. So let's head past the gate. <laughs> there are enemies up ahead. But first, well, we gotta take them out. They're in our way. Uh, I love killing things with my sword. It's been too long. But anyways, when we walk past these trees... Welcome to Hyrule Field, the biggest it's ever been in any Zelda game. Now everyone... Oh, wait, oh okay, I want to show this off. Here's the uh, horse grass. I want to do this before uh, we get into what I was about to say. Nothing happened. Yep, so we're kind of on our own for right, right now. Epona is not going to come help us. But everyone always says that, like, well, a vast majority of people who talk about this game uh, says that Hyrule Field's way too big, way too empty, stuff like that. And while I do agree, I actually like how big it is. I mean, compared to, like, Ocarina of Time's overworld, where it's, like, so small, bland, and the only real thing to it was... Not saying it. But the only thing to it was, uh, like, Lon Lon Ranch. This is a fantastic uh, overworld. Really, I thought I only did it for the blue rupee. But we have some collectibles to grab. Right here is our piece of heart, just sitting in a tree. So we only need one more for a full heart container. And there's also a new collectible in this game, and in this game alone. Actually, no, it's kind of the uh, Skyward Sword. Here we have golden bugs. Uh, you'll be collecting, I want to say about 24 of these throughout the course of the game. Uh, there's two per. Well, there's a pair, so obviously there's gonna be two. Uh, to like each little area. So right here, uh, in well, let's be South Hyrule Field, there's two of them. The first one's over the uh, piece of heart. The second one is over here on that tree. You can probably already see the glow of it. There's a card rock behind us. We get close enough, we can finish. I love that because we finish it. Expl Ooh, we repeat. There's another card rock. What do you want, sir? Get to it before it gets back up. Oh, the second too slow. Hey, hey, die. Do you yeah, Carter Rock usually drop rupees. So that's good, rupee guy. Ooh, a green rupee. Let's pick it up. Anyways, get sidetracked. It. You can see the golden bug right there. So thank God for the gale boomerang. Right there. There it goes. Come here. And I just picked it out of the air. Link is that awesome. So going up this path, we'll meet. Uh, we'll meet an interesting character. Some hard rock. We'll meet an interesting character who we'll see throughout the course of the game. He should be right about. Hey!
It's Fonzie. Hey. Go no further. There's a black wall up, uh, up ahead that blocks the way. I thought I would deliver a few letters, but it seems impossible. I am the honorable, dependable le uh, letter carrier, known uh, to some as the postman. Now that I have introduced myself, please take this letter and read it at your leisure. To read a letter, press blah 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 blah. Uh, you can do that to read any letters you receive. Do it whenever you uh, see fit. Well, my best is, is concluded. Onward to mail! Bye, postman. That is the weirdest postman in any Zelda game. Considering the postman in Majora's Mask is just a running guy from Ocarina of Time. And the postman in Midas Cap is my favorite because if you stand his way long enough, he'll actually jump over you. But, anyways, let's go ahead. Uh, we have the golden bugs right here. Let's see. Four, five, six. Yeah, 24. I did math. So let's go ahead and read his letter. <laughs> About mail delivery. If I have a letter for you, I will approach you at high uh, speed. Please do not flee. <laughs> I like that, because I can just imagine. Uh, he's like, hey, if you look up, run! <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's all the collectibles we can do here. So, whoops. God dang it, Twilight Princess. So if we run through this corner, you'll see the black wall of Twilight once more. Let's go ahead and run forward a little bit. Hey, that was much closer than I thought. You remember, right? You know what this is. If you set foot in there, you might be a wolf again for quite some time. For at least as long as it takes for you to save the light of Elden from Twilight anyway. So, shall we try to go see the light spirit of Elden? Let's do it. Let's go save. Let's go see him. Want me to let you to the twilight? No. Yeah, let's go. That's a good boy. Now you need to listen to what I uh, say from now on. Ah, uh, look, how lovely. The black clouds of twilight are so... Was it fetching today? I feel so much more at, at ease here. And you look so much better... Er, you look so much better like this than those dusty old clothes anyway. So let's get going. Alright, let's go. I believe up ahead where we introduced to something. Yep, there it is right there. There's a little play sword, and if we sniff it... We learned that you sent. This will be something to use throughout the course of the game, and I kind of have a little complaint about it, but I'll save that for later. See, is it being a wolf more convenient? Now use the X, yeah, whatever. We use it, we'll see there's a trail, but I'm not going to constantly use it. Like, I'll switch back and forth. Because if I just leave it in uh, the scent mode, you won't know what's going on. But hey, we have more shadow beasts. Take them all up. Boom. We touched the wall. And the bridge is out. We could totally jump that. What's this? That's strange. The bridge is gone. I wonder if this is the work of those shadow creatures. Ugh, what a pain. Oh well, uh, let's go look for it. You, get your map out. Ow, oh, I'm a wolf. <gasps> How'd I do that? The yellow arrow marks where we are. You knew that, right? Whenever you destroy those creatures from the dar uh, creatures from the darkness, a portal opens that looks like uh, looks like this on the map. I don't know what you're talking about. You hear me? It's called a portal. You better remember that. And and uh, those woods we came through. Yeah, so it's gotta be around there. I use my powers to take you to the uh, location the open uh, open portal. Pick where you want to go. So we gotta pick where we want to go. Do not go to South Farron Woods. Go to North Farron Woods.
He goes, here. And then it will stop talking. See, I told you, we're here. You know, most people can't leave the twilight that easily. You better be grateful. It's your job to look for their birds. Look hard. I'm gonna look so hard. Ugh. Go map. Wow, it's perfect, don't you think? What do you think? Should we take it? Oh uh, no. Good, um, good little obedient wolf. So we want to go to here. No, I'm just kidding. Let's go. God damn. Let's go where X is supposed to go. See, just as I thought. So, isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Call me if you need the power again. It should help you uh, find. Yeah, it should help you find what we're looking for, don't you think? All right, let's get going. All right, put the map away. And if we see the scent trail leads us this way. So I'm assuming it takes us over to that gate. Just ignore the. <clears throat> just ignore these guys. I don't know what they're called. I want to assume they're Twilight Bulkablins. Huh? What are they doing there? This is a pretty, uh, what? Elaborate gate. Where are they trying to keep in? Or out? I bet it'll be worth our while to dig in. Okay. Sneak attack. I'm just gonna run. I'll need to finish them off. Goodbye, friends! Welcome to Kakariko Village, a much different looking place than it was in Ocarina of Time, and in other subtle games, like Lincer Pass. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you out first. There we go. Plain and simple. And there's the light spirit. To the hero, the hero who, was who was transformed into a blue-eyed blue beast, beast in the realm of shadows, shadows in twilight. This, this way. way. I am a spirit of light. Hero chosen by the gods. Look for my light. Gather the light stolen by the shadows into this. And once again, we get the Vessel of Light. Yes, yes, yes. We know what it, we know what it does. The insects of darkness. They are the form taken by the evil that attached itself to my scattered light. In this shadowy twilight, the shadow insects are invisible, much as the people from your light world are. With the last of my power, let me mark your map with the locations of the tears that have turned into shadow insects. But be careful, the darkness now hunts you. So, our map has been marked. Let's go ahead and... No, shut up. Let's tell the light spirit to shut up. Uh, it seems there are some bugs in this building right here, so let's go ahead and take that out. There's a spirit there. Cripes! How the heck am I supposed to babysit someone else's little brats when I'm uh when I ought to be saying myself? Wait, babysitting? What are you talking about, sir? No, shut up, shut up. 
And we'll see if the trail uh, the use sends goes in there. Let's see if we can get inside. Hey, look, a tree. Hey, you can climb up here. Thanks, man. Enough. And if we come stand like this, we. So we see their. Oops, I should leave that. But we see their shadow. Or not shadows. Spirits here. Cripes, I don't see those black bloats anymore. Or brutes. They gotta be hiding some uh, somewhere waiting for a helpless little prey to come out. Then they'll feast. We are safe as long as we remain here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah? I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. They sure didn't seem impressed by my bombs. How long do you think we could hold this sanctuary against uh, beasts that strong, huh? Once they attack, it's over. Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her and a whole gang from town went to save her. And what happened? She was already gone and there were two monsters waiting. You connected the dots? That means uh, that if we get attacked by them, then we'll be... BARDS! <laughs> Look, Ronaldo, all I mean to say is that it's risky here too, and you guys have a place we can hide. There is a cellar. <laughs> what? You got a cellar? Where's the entrance, man? The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all the candles have been lit. I wouldn't do that. When Father instructed me to secure the cellar, I saw insects like the beasts outside. Don't cry, Beth. They'll be okay. Arthur's coming to save us all. Huh? Hmm. I could feel it. Those kids uh, knew you'd come and save them. What a hero. How sad to be right in front of someone and not be noticed at all. You were chosen by the gods and uh, only that means, or only that keeps you from turning into a spirit or worse, into a dark beast when you're to twilight. And no one knows what you have done. You may be doomed to toil in obscurity forever. You're the uh, type, er, you're the type to worry about everything I could tell. But don't fret over Zelda. She chose this state of affair after all. Anyway, uh, what's, or what's with having the candle, or the, the having the light candles to get into the basement? Not very uh, subtle, is it? So, what are we gonna do now, my lonely little hero? Colin believes we're coming to save him. Barnes is a jerk. Since we can't be seen by them, could you imagine just like seeing this uh, stick float midair? But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and go counterclockwise. Since that's the side I lit. It's kind of a smart and stupid uh, design to have all the candles be connected to opening that. Yeah. So what say you, Barnes? Oh, well, I'll show you. Now everyone's staring at that, so let's listen. What sorcerer is this? The entrance to cellar open, uh, or the the entrance to cellar opening on its own. Could those beasts have engineered you in this? <gasps> what kind of demonry? So let me actually run forward, cause there are some bugs in here. Ow! 
Suck it. So now that they're dead, come to me, my insects of darkness. The darkness. Anyways, though, uh, I think we've done quite a bit for this episode. Uh, we got some collectibles. We made it here to Kakariko Village uh, inside the twilight. We met with the spirit, and we found a kid's are. So, next time on, let's play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. We're going to go ahead and gather the remaining, what's that, 12 bugs, and see what we could do when the light has been returned. So, I will see you all next time.